Hey everybody and welcome to episode 371 of Unboxing Wednesdays for comics arriving in stores on Wednesday, December 6, 2017. Ricky, we are inching ever closer to Christmas. We are now, this is the first Wednesday in December. Wow. Yeah. Time flies, man. Time flies, it really does. And, and then before you know it, it's going to be 2018. We're going to look back at 2017 and see what did, what did we really accomplish this year. <laughs> Any plans for 2018? And then we're, we're going to be depressed. Yeah. Really. Like, come on. Any plans for 2018? I'm just going to crush it, bro. I'm just going to crush it. I keep crushing it, bro. <laughs> uh, no, but we, like, Ricky and I are really excited. We've got a, a really special guest joining us today. It is the holiday season, as we all know. And uh, someone wanted to join us, someone very special. Want to come and, and be a part of today's Unboxing Wednesday. Um, he's the uh, local Santa at our at Shoppers World Mall and and the local the Santa for Stadium Comics. His name is Fanboy Santa, and uh, we're just we're just waiting for him to show up right now. Uh, yeah. Yeah, have you heard the story behind Fanboy Santa? No. So Fanboy Santa um, actually has been around to like all kinds of malls across uh, Canada over the last few years. And uh, he, his, his, his whole thing is, is he was supposed to be at the Yorkdale shopping mall in, uh, in, a, in, in the Toronto area this year. But, uh, but he missed out on that opportunity and they hired this guy Fashion Santa. Have you seen Fashion Santa? I've seen Fashion Instead? Santa. So fashionable. He's very fashionable Santa. Ricky, throw up some pictures of Fashion Santa. So he lost out to Fashion Santa. So he had nowhere to go but Shoppers World Mall this year. Uh, and we're just waiting for him to show up because he wants he wants to spread some fanboy holiday cheer with all of you guys here. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna, gonna go check uh, the phone over here. See if we got any messages from fanboy Santa. I'll be right back. Man, Kevin's taking a long time. What's going on? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? what is that? Jingle bells, Batman oh. smells, Robin oh. laid an egg. Fanboy Santa. It's Fanboy Santa. Hello, oh, Ricky. How hey, are you doing well, today? Wow. This is my Fanboy oh, Santa voice. Yeah, what? <laughs> Fanboy Santa, how are you today? I'm, I'm doing well. You know, it could be better. I've been spending... Uh, the last few weeks going over my list of who's naughty and who's nice yeah. when it comes to the comic industry because as a fanboy I like to keep track of these kinds of things and uh, you know open up the the door for critical debate on things such as oh. what comic publishers are doing well and what they aren't <laughs> and let me tell you there's a lot of publishers on the naughty list this year Whoa, like like what, Santa? Where's your list? Well, Ricky, I happen to have my list here on these comic boards. You know, Fanboy Santa doesn't have a long scroll or anything like that. He has He's, boards. He has boards. Makes sense. You keep them in a short box, Santa? Well, actually, several long boxes. And when oh. Santa is done with his list of who's naughty and nice every year, he puts them into nice Mylar bags and files them away in his system of long boxes. Mm, right. Like any good fanboy would. Well, let's get started with uh, DC Comics. DC Comics is definitely on the naughty list. DC Comics, uh, I watched your recent Justice League movie. Uh, you know, I assume oh, I you see, watched yeah. it. I, I know I see everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, it's... Um, I don't want to see everything, but I, but unfortunately I do. I'm Santa. I, uh, you know, did, did you see me this morning? Uh, I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm... <laughs> um, I don't know. So, DC Comics puts out a Justice League movie. And they uh, promote the fact that it's going to have involvement from Darkseid. And yet, where was Darkseid in this movie? Yeah, you know, he was, they mentioned once. Naughty, naughty DC Comics. You're on the naughty list. Next on the naughty list, Marvel Comics. Marvel Comics, Ricky. Well, but they're so good, no? Marvel Comics, this whole Marvel legacy thing, and the whole uh, debacle over the lenticular covers, and making retailers qualify, for insane amounts uh, of, of orders to get these regular covers. It's, it was just a whole naughty thing. It sounds like you've been talking to some retailers. So. I, 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 I do know a few retailers. I, uh, oh. I have a great respect for the retailers here at Stadium Comics, as you know. Yeah. And um, the, uh, 
<laughs> the owners of Stadium Comics are very good friends of mine. And, um, you know, as I'm friends with <laughs> lots of comic retailers, um, you know, ac across the world. But Marvel will definitely be getting a lump of coal from Fanboy Santa come Christmas Day. <laughs> Sorry, Fanboy Santa just has to do a few wardrobe adjustments. Let's talk about Image Comics. Image Comics, you are definitely on the naughty list. Did Image Comics not, a couple years ago, say that uh, they were done with the variant cover? It's true, they did. I have seen so many variant covers from Image Comics in the last year. Uh, I, 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 you would think that they're public, being published by Marvel. <laughs> Where's the lenticulars? Am I right, Santa? Uh, I believe the lenticulars and the foil stamped editions are next. Image Comics, very, very naughty. Let's talk about Black Hole Hunters Club. Yeah, with all, they're nice. Black right, Hole Hunters right? Club. Yeah, Black yeah. Hole Hunters Club, definitely on Santa's naughty what? list. <laughs> what? Look, all, this... all of these pages say Black uh, Hole Hunters Club. Uh, Black Hole Hunters Club, you have been naughty in uh. 2017 by not having a website where people can go and purchase their copy of Black Hole Hunters yeah. Club. They can't get Black Hole Hunters Club Volume 1. They can't get Black Hole Hunters Club the biggest thing ever. They can't get Black Hole Hunters Club reprinted editions. They can't see any digital versions of Black Hole Hunters Club. Where is the online home of Black Hole Hunters Club? To avoid coal in your stocking next year, Ricky Lima. And Black Hole Hunters Club, you must, 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 must uh, advance yourselves into the 21st century. Yeah, that's a fair a point. That's a fair point. Uh, uh, Fanboy Santa is on the web. Yeah, Fanboy Santa can be reached online. Where, where can people reach you? People can tweet Fanboy Santa their, their Christmas wishes at Real Fanboy Santa. That, that's where they can get, get a hold of Fanboy okay. Santa. And I am taking all Fanboy related Christmas requests right up until Christmas Eve. You can send them over to Fanboy what, Santa. What kind, of, real fanboy what kind Santa. of requests? Like, can I? Well, for instance, my personal Christmas wish is to uh, eliminate this evil fashion Santa. Oh. He's on my naughty list. He's the last two pages of this naughty list. Is Fanboy Santa? What do you got against? Uh, oh, fashion he Santa? strolls around Yorkdale Mall, thinking he's so sexy with his uh, his slim profile but, like, and his he is. and his short hair and his nice manicured beard and. Uh, you know, it's it's very it's very hipster. You know, he's very hipster like. That's, that's fair. But um, uh, you know, fan, fanboy Santa. Uh, basically, he took my job. You know, I was supposed to be the Yorkdale Mall Santa Claus this year, spreading fanboy cheer through the halls of Yorkdale Mall. But they hired this fashion Santa, who uh, you know, he's more concerned with his own appearance, I think, than spreading cheer and delivering gifts. And uh, I, I just won't. I just I just don't stand for it. The only reason I did not get the job that I was supposed to is because I was marathoning uh, Punisher and Stranger Things on Netflix. I mean, what was I supposed to do? I'm a fanboy. You can't, you can't miss that. I, uh, how am I supposed to debate and argue the finer plot points of those shows uh, if I don't marathon it and watch it the first night it comes out? I gotta watch it. Spoil it online. I get it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's crazy. Ricky, if you could have one... Fanboy wish for Christmas. What would it be? Oh man, uh, I want Disney to buy the the Fox rights for the Marvel stuff. That's what. Can I, I ask you a question? Yeah. Why does your wish have to be so stupid? <laughs> uh, that's a lot of people want that fanboy Santa. I think it'd be fanboy cool. Santa thinks that <laughs> the comic book companies, yeah. okay. uh, the, by extension of their multimedia movie producing yeah. companies, have. Uh, have have strayed too far from the comics. That's a fair point. I mean, if yeah. if this 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 Disney Fox deal happens, all you're going to see is more of this stuff on the big screen and less concentration on the printed floppy uh, comic. That's, that's true. I mean, when will we get back to comics being the source material for what we see on the big screen, rather than the movies trying to be the new source material? I don't know, Where so. is the great stories like Civil War? Yeah. House of M. It's just my wish, Santa. You don't have to like poo poo. Batman Year One. Sorry, Santa. I'm just saying. I'm sorry, dude. Like, uh, anyway, uh, Ricky, do you have any snacks? A fanboy Santa's been walking around this mall all day. Uh, uh, you, uh, we, do you have we, any chips? Any? We, we probably got some Doritos and Mountain Dew oh. over there. Oh, yeah. That's heaven sent. That is fantastic, Ricky. And for those of you who are expecting fanboy Santa on uh, Christmas Eve, please do leave out a plate of. Uh, uh, Doritos or 
Cheetos or uh, some sort of uh, chip snack. <laughs> In addition to some sugary uh, soda beverage, that would, uh, that would really hit the spot. All right, Ricky, fanboy Santa has to go, but he wants to remind everybody out there to stay tuned to Stadium Comics' Facebook channel over the course of December. Uh, you're going to see more Fanboy Santa. He's going to be talking about great deals and bargains that you'll see inside Stadium Comics as we lead up to Christmas Day. And Fanboy Santa will be taking your wishes online at, uh, at Real Fanboy Santa. And uh, you can reach out to me on Facebook as well when the videos are posted on Stadium Comics' page. Sweet. Thanks, Fanboy Santa. <laughs> oh, was that even real? What's what's going on, man? I, I oh, went out in the mall dude, to check to see if dude. Fanboy Santa was out there, and I didn't I didn't see him. Fanboy Santa out. was in here. He was here. Yeah. I missed him. Yeah, you missed him. Oh my god. He was, he was here. He was Is he straight. coming back, or was he done for today? Yeah, I think he's done for the day, man. Oh. Like, you missed him. I'm really bummed out. I wanted to tell him what I wanted for Christmas. Did you tell him what you wanted for Christmas? You better believe I did. Yeah. Is he gonna make that make that happen, or? I mean, he. Didn't what was seem... he like? Like was. He did seem a little uh, prickly, let me oh, <laughs> tell okay. you that. All right. Um, well, that really sucks. Well, I guess I'll see it on, on the video, but yeah. Um, you know, we'll try to get Fanboy Santa back again next week, guys. And Just get him back next week. We'll try to get him back next week. Yeah. I, I, I really, uh, I'm, re I'm really bummed that I missed him. But anyway, uh, Ricky, we've got stuff to get to today. So let's go ahead and open up some boxes. I'm so bummed about missing Fanboy Santa. Anyway. Street Fighter Shadowloo Special, issue number one. From Dynamite, we have Barbarella. Chapter House is re-releasing their free comic book day version of their year one, uh, issue one book. Um, and this is the reissued version here. Uh, $1.99 US, uh, so slightly uh, more expensive in, in Canada. And a uh, awesome Dave Finch cover here. Paper Girls number 18. Ricky was fanboy and fanboy Santa though. I've never met him. He's a handsome guy though, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's all right. Okay. <laughs> Sleepless issue one, a new book from Image Comics. The Shadow Batman number three. Witchblade issue number one from Image Comics. It's a new version of Witchblade. We've got a uh, regular cover here and a variant with a shiny foil title. Uh, Elf Quest. This is the 40th anniversary. Special Ashcan Edition from Dark Horse. Archie number 26. A new one from Image Comics. I'm really digging the art inside. It's called Paradiso, and this is issue number one. From Dark Circle Comics, which is a uh, imprint under Archie Comics, be uh, comes The Mighty Crusaders, issue number one. Gem and the Holograms, Dimensions. And then we have Savage Dragon, issue number 229. Uh, last few issues of Dr Savage Dragon have been an experience. Uh, definitely not a comic uh, for the non-mature reader anymore. Definitely for mature readers. Uh, it is, it is, it's something else. Uh, but, uh, as it's labeled on the front, it was an Inkwell Awards award winner for 2017. So congrats to Eric Larson and Savage Dragon, who now resides in the city of Toronto. And then we have The Walking Dead, issue number 174. Uh, Alright, moving on to Marvel, we've got uh, Captain America issue 695, this is a second printing. Doctor Strange issue 382 with an awesome cover by Mike Del Mundo. And Astonishing X-Men number 6, also with an awesome cover by Mike Del Mundo. And Amazing Interiors by Mike Del Mundo as well. Avengers number 674, Spirits of Vengeance, this is the Phoenix variant for issue number 3. X-Men Gold, number 17. Hawkeye, number 13. Pays tribute to Matt Fraction's Hawkeye from a few years ago. Here's Black Bolt, number 8. The first part of the legacy story for Black Bolt. And here's the variant paying tribute to that uh, classic Uncanny X-Men cover. Let me see if I can line it up right there. There we go. Darth Vader, number 9. Second printing of Guardians of the Galaxy, number 146. And new on shelves today is Guardians of the Galaxy number 148. Also got Spider-Man number 235 and Captain America number 696. Spinning out of the pages of Amazing Spider-Man and Venom 
comes Venom Ink Alpha. This is a one-shot book that will uh, lead into the Venom Ink storyline, which you will see in the pages of Amazing Spider-Man and Venom. Uh, so this is the first part of it here. We've also got a variant cover here. All right, every year DC puts out their holiday special, and this is uh, their 2017 version. 11 Festive Fables from some of comics greatest creators and this is an amazing cover by Andy Kubert and uh, yeah it looks like there's a lot of good stuff in here definitely pick up the uh, holiday special if you get a chance Harley and Ivy meet Betty and Veronica issue number three Cyborg issue 19 you'll notice on a lot of the new DC comics this week is the uh, new trade dress which uh, shows DC Universe uh, the logo of the hero that you're dealing with here and um, the issue and the price. Um, so let me see if I can get you a better focused picture of that. So there, I don't know if you can kind of make it out there. It's still kind of blurry, but hey, it's the best I can do. Um, so that's kind of cool. I'm, I'm digging the new look, I think. As you'll see on this copy of Bombshells United number seven, the difference here is that it doesn't say DC Universe, it says DC Comics. So the difference is, is that the Universe books are part of the main DC continuity and the comics um, books are part of part of DC but uh, not necessarily stuff that would be in continuity. Alright here's Green Arrow number 35, Black Lightning number 2, Green Lanterns number 36, Injustice 2 number 15, Justice League number 34, Nightwing number 34, Dead Man number 2, Superman number 36. Alright we're excited by this one it is the return to the Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles crossover universe with uh, Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 issue number one. We've got the uh, same creative team I believe on this one with James Tinney in the fourth and um, Freddie Williams the third, the second, sorry. Uh, lots of people with numbers at the end of their names. But the art inside is amazing. This is the regular cover and here is the Kevin Eastman cover. Batman number 36. Here is uh, one of the covers and I've got the other cover right here. Uh, continuing the story of the courtship engagement and uh, lead up to marriage I guess with Catwoman. For those of you who have missed out on Batman White Knight by the amazing Sean Murphy issue number one gets a third printing today. Issue number two gets a second printing and new on shelves today is Batman White Knight issue number three. This is the regular cover. And here is the awesome variant featuring not one, but two Harley Quinns. All right guys, prize time. Last week I asked you uh, where you would take your comic book crush on a date. Uh, one kid posse said my comic crush is Mara from Aquaman and I would take her to the grocery store on our first date and we would rescue lobsters from the tank in the seafood department. It's always so sad going to the seafood department and watching all these fish just like chilling, waiting to get eaten. It's like, come on, man. Come on. Ken Ives said I would take Black Widow paintballing. I think we would have a blast. <laughs> she'd kick your ass, dude. And paintballing, she'd like fill your nostrils with paint. I went paintballing once. I hated it. You guys ever... It's, it's gross. You get so like dirty. It's, I hate it. <laughs> It's like sand, it gets everywhere, you know what I'm saying? Anybody? Uh, Stanley Family Hustle said, I would take RC, the pink female motorcycle transformer, to the most expensive nightclub in town, and when the bill comes, I will yell, transform, and let's get the hell out of here. You know, you could do that with probably any uh, date. You could just skip out on the bill uh, easily. But you know what, Stanley Family Hustle, you're a family man. You can't just skip out on bills like that. Come on, man. 14-year-old comic nerd said, Red Sonia to the medieval fair to feast on turkey legs and whiskey mead. You're 14 years old. You shouldn't be drinking whiskey mead. Best you can have root beer. Red Sonia, she can have the whiskey mead. You, 14-year-old comic nerd, you get the root beer. Which, I mean, root beer is delicious. Why wouldn't you want it? Bunky Bunk said on our first date I would take the Invisible Woman as Sue Storm to Stadium Comics where we would enlist Kevin and Ricky to create the new Fantastic Four. Then the four of us would attack the buffet of international eats at the other end of the mall. Dude, I'm always into that. I'm always into raiding buffets. And if it's with Sue Storm, 
Bring it on. I'm bringing it. But the winner goes to Bradley Gill, who said, I would take Mary Jane to Taco Bell and talk smack about Gwen Stacy. Why not? Screwed Gwen Stacy. Here she is. I think she can come back from the dead and be Spider Gwen? Forget that. It's all about Mary Jane hitting the jackpot, Tiger. All right, for this week's question, in honor of the first appearance of Fanboy Santa, wasn't that great? <laughs> Kevin missed him. What a loser. Uh, so in honor of Fanboy Santa, I want to know from you what fanboy-related gift would you want Fanboy Santa to bring you for the holiday season? Best answer will be entered into the draw at the end of the month. All right, everybody, that is it for this week. Thank you once again for watching. Uh, Ricky, what are you doing? Are you tweeting uh, at the real Fanboy yeah, Santa right now? For sure, man. All right. Got to get him in on that uh, Twitter. Okay, all right. He's, uh, he's on the social medias, that guy. Uh, I'm going to have to reach out to him again on there and just be like, hey, yo, when are you coming by again? Like, suck to miss you. So yeah, you can connect with us on any of the websites you see listed here on the screen. Uh, stay tuned uh, to, I guess, Fanboy Santa's updates on our Facebook page for the most part, I think, mm -hmm. uh, going through December. Uh, he'll be showing you some awesome stuff going on at Stadium, some great gift ideas. Ricky, uh, I think you have something coming up this weekend? Uh, yeah, I got the December Comic Con coming up December 9th, this Saturday. Saturday, and where's that at? Yeah, it's at the Metro Convention Center. Metro Convention Center. And if you bought a VIP pass for Fan Expo, you get it for free. So. Oh, I didn't know that. That's pretty I'm cool. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> Ricky is not in charge of ticketing or <laughs> admissions yeah, at know. the that's, show. That's what I I'm pretty Just sure. Go know. and be prepared to like pay a little bit of money to get in, okay? Pay and a little money, bit of money at our table. What are you gonna that? have uh, at the table there? We're gonna have some BHHC Volume One, right? Some BHHC Biggest Thing Ever, all right? Some Deep Sea, wow! Happily Ever After Number One. I'm just bringing it. Uh, I don't know. I could bring some other. I got other stuff. Bring, or like any 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 treats, any snacks, or yeah, like, man. I don't know. Shane made me a, a chocolate sausage last year okay. and it looked like a literal turret because it was a chocolate sauce it was pretty great yeah. it was delicious so maybe we'll bring okay. that all right cool <laughs> all right so to check out ricky's books or his chocolate sausage <laughs> head head to the <laughs> december uh what's it called Dece fan days yeah, december fan, fan days. days this weekend at the toronto convention center uh thanks everybody for watching enjoy your comics this week take care and we'll see you all next time for episode 372